you might get very hungry after watching this. I'm at one of the biggest airline catering center here. 40,000 omelets made every day. What is different for Qatar Airways? We never do frozen. There you go. Just throw the meat into the grinder. This is the sausage making machine here. 120 sausage a minute. That's my favorite, right? Steak. There's a lot of steak here. And do you know this is not normal steak? This is black angus. Black angus steak? Yeah, from Alaska. I'll take them home. <laughs> yeah. So this one is very juicy and tender. We get fresh from Alaska. At this stage, we cook just medium rare. Passenger want morely cooked, they can put in the oven. That's correct, yeah. I see. Yeah. Look at Whoa, this. Wow, what on earth this is? So this one is chickpea. We buy chickpea for hummus, you know? Ah, making hummus. Yeah. The, the stuff I like about visiting kitchen at this scale is you need like a spade. This is almost like a weapon, right? You need this kind of stuff to scoop it around. The feeder is huge here. So far, we've seen the food's been cooked. But here it is a bit of food tasting. Tell me what it is about. We divide our cooking tasks into different cooking stations. And there is a senior chef that's responsible for each cooking section. He or she is responsible to make sure that the taste and the feel and the look completely fits and matches with our specifications. For food safety and security, we do not allow any of the staff to taste the food while they're cooking. You can't do it at home, like cook and taste. Oh, no. They come here Correct. for a supervisor to check all the quality. So after cooking the food is going, you will see everything have the barcode. There's a barcode, yeah. okay. These are the so, jira, pulao rice. Yeah, this one jira, pulao rice. And then we go to the, the uh, cold process. The cold process, the chiller, the store. Yeah. This is interesting. It's like a conveyor belt for yeah. food. So we know exactly where the food go and for what. We're looking at all these trays going to cold storage, right? Yeah. How many trays you produce a day go to storage? So at the moment, capacity is about 50,000, but we're doing about 35 to 40,000 at the moment. So that many? 35 yeah. to yeah. 40,000 trays per day? But you can imagine one meal is like four or five components. It's like five, six trays. Ah, you have the sauce, you have the rice, That's you have the right. chicken. That's right. To make the tandoori. Okay. That's right. Okay. Oh my God, that's how the hummus was made. They're squeezing the hummus. I remember these. These are on the short GCC flights. When you fly from Doha to Dubai, in economy, you get one of these. Uh, and yeah. this is the sample, yeah. so. You call golden sample. Golden sample. Yeah. So the, all of them should be look like that. That's right. I see. So please welcome to the bakery and pastry area. All the premium products are produced here. For example, here, this is one of our premium danishes for business class. It's been filled using this machine here and then we glaze it using our raspberry or pistachio and chocolate. So this is automated process, semi-automated, so that I we have a customer. I love this machine. I love this one. This yeah. is filling the cream inside. Correct, yeah, so that That's you get the right oh. consistency. For example, you can see here, so once it's filled, it looks even and you have the filling all over. So there's no single spot where you won't find no cream. The premium croissants and danishes are handmade and we do have our economy croissants which are machine made as well. So we produce for economy, we produce approximately 26 to 28,000 croissants a day and when it comes to premium croissants, we produce around 5,000 which are handmade with lots and lots of love. So this funny machine, this does the chocolate tempering all day long. So 24 hours we've been tempering the chocolate every time. So we have a dulce chocolate, we have white chocolate, and then we do have our dark chocolate. So as you can see here, Aline is making the chocolate garnish. So she makes one of the amazing truffles as well. Say hello, Aline. Yeah, so she's one of our truffle makers. Not the troublemaker, truffle maker. So this is one of the, the garnishes what we produce. So now we're at one of the last process. Now they're building the trays and putting them in the trolley. So the catering folks are saving the best to last. For first class caviar, they go into a little cooler like this with ice inside and the caviar is inside. And this is strictly for first class stuff. This is kind of a chiller inside the refrigerator. Absolutely. So 
um, as per our requirement, when the trucks are loaded with fresh galley to leave the loading bay, the inside of the trucks, the temperature is controlled between 8 degree and 10 degree, um, because this is for food safety and ensure freshness of the food ingredients as well. Full operation going on, about 60 trolleys going to load on to a Boeing 777-300ER departure to Manila. Before any food cart is loaded, it puts the dry ice slab on top of the cart uh -huh. to ensure the freshness and food safety. Here it comes a full trolley load of food. What a day we've seen the food were produced. Now all inside a little chart and going to Manila. What an experience.